This is the Flood Alert, an Internet of Things device that goes online and looks up a combination of weather and flood data to give you a warning of impending flood risks. It does this by primarily using the UK Environmental Agency's API, in other words, a source of data to generate these alerts, but provides it in a visible device that you can place anywhere in your home. There are four levels of alert. Green, which is no risk or low risk. Yellow, which is implying that flooding is possible. And for example, you might wish to consider ordering sandbags and thinking about putting certain belongings up higher out of the way of any water. Red is where flooding is expected. You may want to put out some sandbags or indeed use this interval of time to ask friends, family or neighbours for their help. The higher level of red, and indeed with the buzzer sounding, is danger to life. Although very rare in the UK, this has occurred and one should prepare for evacuation as soon as possible. All things being well, the device returns back to green again when there's no further warnings. The first phase of this project is to learn more about the existing data model, based mostly on river data. However, once we have this benchmark, the aim of the project's second phase is to improve the accuracy of the flood alert by combining it with the user's own data. An analogy would be satellite navigation in cars, where your journey time is adjusted by the data from other drivers in front of you and the system shares such insights for everyone to benefit. Likewise, if you get a green light on your flood alert, but are actually experiencing concerning pooling of water on your road, you may input, or if you like, vote, by pressing the yellow or even the red button. This effectively trains the system to be more attuned to your own circumstances, and hence give better predictions in future. The device was designed by Jude Pullen and Pete Milne for DesignSpark, an engineering community which is part of the global electronics company RS Group. It's made from a 3D printed case and contains an Arduino Nano 33 IoT processor, a bespoke PCB which connects a few simple LEDs, buttons and a buzzer as well as a low power e-ink display, all running at low 5 volts USB power. The aim is for people to sign up and help build a more accurate model on flooding, not only for the individual, but also their community. Long term, we hope that the model can be expanded to other countries also. For more information, search DesignSpark and Flood Alert.